Frank, and this is my final project for the class Curriculum Integration of Technology for Elementary Learners. No, this slide is not a mistake, because the point of this class was that we focus on all of those elements that you see on this particular slide. All of those things happen in a class that uses technology. There's a lot of controversy about technology. There's some good and there's some bad. Um, the effects of technology on children is a very complicated issue. Um, there needs to be a balance um, between the benefits in terms of enhancing the educational process and the costs, both monetarily, of course, um, and academically. Children's brains are developing from a very, obviously from birth, um, and they're very impressionable. What we do know is that frequent exposure technology, to technology has an effect on the wiring of the brain in different ways than those of previous generations. But this generation has never known a time in which there wasn't technology. And so, of course, the brain is going to be rewired to think differently. Um, what we've learned through history is that advances in technology will determine how that brain develops. Hence, back to this generation has never known a time when technology hasn't um, existed. So, this also applies to today. Some of the other controversies, um, one of the first comments that you'll get about the use of technology in children is that they don't learn how to focus, but that is far from the truth. And in fact, one of the talks that I have included um, talks very specifically to that. Kids who um, have grown up with technology uh, can focus uh, extremely well. Even when you read a book, you're going to lose focus. Um, so you can't say that technology is the only thing that draws uh, focus away. When you read a book and you don't understand a concept, you go look it up, you raise your hand, you ask a question. All of that takes away from the focus and it could possibly take away from the linking of whatever it is that they're going to do. So lots of things take children's focus away. And um, uh, the, it, the idea is well, they're not learning, but um, children learn much faster. And you'll see us uh, one of the slides that shows how these children learn at a much faster rate because of technology. Another controversy is technology has been accused of being used as a replacement for physical activity and imaginative interaction, along with contributing to the diminished ability to develop social skills. Really? Let's start with the last one. These kids know how to socialize. That's what they do all the time, on the computer, through Skype, uh, through cell phones, by text messaging, Instagram, Vine, uh, Twitter, Facebook. They uh, know how to socialize. This is the way they socialize. This is how they were raised, so this is what they're going to do. Physical activity. Um, kids still play. Kids still go out and play. That isn't going to change any. I know lots of kids who talk about, they come and they say, Coach! And then they tell me whatever it was that they did on the weekend. Uh, some of these kids have Wii's or other types of device, and they'll talk about how they play these games, these act exercise games, where they do it as a family. Several of them do it as a family. So they're going to get physical activity no matter what. But the final one, imaginative interaction. Think about this. A child is sitting there in the United States and creating a character that talks and walks and moves according to however they manipulate the software that they're using. And it is interacting with another character who is being created in the same way. But that child happens to be in China. They have learned 
how to use technology to bring life into their imagination. This will be the only slide, like I said, that you're going to um, hear my voice. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Thank you.